Hey guys, it's Electric How To, and today we're going to be doing another thing with the super sim simple circuit. Um, and if you want to know how to make this uh, circuit, just check out the previous video if you have not already. And um, so we're just going to start off right from right from here. And again, we're going to be using the same uh, supplies. But here, I'll cut to a supplies list. All right, for this um, supply list, you will need scissors, not that, not that either, sorry, DC motor, actually, yes, you do need this, sorry, I'm cluttered here, so you need scissors, a DC motor, electrical tape, or scotch tape, and as always, electrical tape is, um, better for if you're using a high volt a higher voltage battery um, it's lower chance to get electrocuted but I guess scotch tape works well too um, you will need some extra wires I prefer wires with these clips and protectors around them but you can get like wires from Christmas lights or something I don't know just wires um, also need a, a battery pack and three triple A's. I only have two here because the um, other ones used over here. Oh yeah, and you also need a switch. So you need scissors, DC motor, some sort of tape, electrical tape, tape, um, switch, battery pack with three triple A batteries. So. We're starting off with what we had from last video, and if you have not seen that yet, I recommend checking it out so you know how to make this. But if you're already cool with making this, then you can just, I guess, skip the previous video. I don't care. But, um, let's get right into it. So, first thing you want to do is just take this battery off of your super simple circuit. If you're coming from the other video, um, just get all that tape off. In my case, it's gonna be a little bit harder because I use scotch. There. Okay, so got a nice battery. Just put that in your battery pack. So fill your battery pack up like that. So now you have the two red wires, both positive. So you just want to get tape or electrical tape. Um. Here, I'll hit a closer view. So what you want to do is just crisscross, like an X, um, the metal parts of the wire. So then once you've done that, just put some tape around it. Then they should be held together. Now once you've done that, they should be perfectly fine over there. So now you've got battery pack, attached to um, the motor and then you just have these two so you could just straight on go like this and it'd be perfectly fine but I prefer using the switch and if you could tell from the last video this motor is spinning a lot faster that's because we're using a higher voltage, and as a fun fact, if you have more voltage, the DC motor will spin faster. Anyway, so, to wire up this switch in here, it's really simple. Instead of um, just putting a straight circuit into here, you just put that right there. And I said these, you don't really need these extra um, switches, or not switches, uh, wires, but... I prefer them because it's sort of hard to just tape these on, you know, to the, the switch. So, what you want to do is you just clip this black, black wire onto the middle part, right there. You just put that off to the side. So then you have the other side of that. You just want to clip it on to whatever part you want, really, of the switch. Um, and then... 
I really don't care what kind of a color these are because it doesn't really follow the rule of um, the red and black positive and negative. But if you want, you can get um, a black one just to match up the wire over here, but I don't want to because I just have them together. So whatever wire you have here, just connect in here. That goes to the battery pack, so the second one. So the only connection that you don't have is here. So the easiest way to do this, find which one of these uh, little hoops you want to connect to, is just take your metal piece and then just touch all of these um, little hoops like that. And you see nothing happens, so switch your switch. And then touch them all again. So that one's making it spin. So you just want to clip onto there. And switch off. So, there you have it. You have your uh, super simple, simple circuit mark II. Got all your wiring here. Once again, I like to provide proof that I'm not putting like a sound in, just tricking someone because I don't trick here for electric how to. So I'll just get some of this tape here, put it on my motor, I'll switch this on. Because they flew off. Anyway, well, that's proof that the motor is really spinning. Turning on and off, on and off as I uh, switch the switch. So, hope you guys uh, like the video. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, whatever.